Christian Pulisic wants his way out. Frank Kessie linked to Chelsea with 18 months left on his contract. And why a Chelsea player could be the key to that transfer. And what the hell is going on with Tammy Abraham? Let's get into this video. Welcome, Bratuki. Yes, today we've got a jam-packed video for you guys. So before we get started, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's aim for 200 likes on this video. You guys have been sick and we've been averaging around about 100. So the new target's 200. We move up, right? Yeah, let's do it, boys. Let's get into the first story. We're going to start with Christian Pulisic. And for me, this is an interesting one. All of a sudden, there are rumors linking Christian Pulisic to Manchester United, to Man United, our good friends. And not only them, Liverpool, Bayern Munich. And the reason why these teams are getting linked with him is because he's not playing. So now the question arises, what are Chelsea going to do? These rumours are not coincidental, these rumours are premeditated and these rumours are 100% fabricated by Christian Pulisic's team. And this is why I believe this, right? This is coming from my own thoughts, I don't have no insight, but this is what I think. I think he's threatening Chelsea. If he doesn't get game time, he's going to force his way out. And at the end of the day, he is a superb talent. We do need to be careful because we can't lose a talent of this magnitude. I know I always say he's made out of glass, but you guys know I rate him, all right? You guys know I appreciate Christian's ability to be a man off a dribble, his ability to nick a goal. And I always say, out of all of our wingers, if anyone's going to average 20 goals, someone tells me our winger is going to average 20 goals in the league it will be him because he gets into positions where goals will be scored and he's always on the end of things so for me calm down relax don't be stressed about this. I don't believe you guys should be worried. I think this is all rumours and this is just a ploy to get him back into the team. And I think it will work. He will be back into the team and have his opportunity soon. So stay tuned. Next story. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the Christian Pulisic agenda. Do you think he should be starting? Do you think he should be on the bench? And do you think this is all fabricated by his team to get him into the team? Let's go. This next story gets me gassed. I'm not going to lie to you. Frank Kessie, I've been following since Atalanta days. This you is sick. Engine. Brain of a way of finding passes. He is so composed on the ball. His passing range is amazing. He is technically gifted and he is the prototype for this two shell system. He is box to box. And for me, he is class personified. We were linked with him under Sari, I remember that. And I did my research then and I did my due diligence and then I tracked him ever since then because I was so impressed with what I saw. For me, he is absolutely amazing. If one of Kante or Jorginho leaves this summer, he could be a great addition into that midfield. And the reason I'm talking about this now is because Rumours are coming out. He's got 18 months left on his deal. Chelsea are tracking it. It is a dream signing of Thomas Tuchel's, apparently. Personally, I don't see why not. This guy is fantastic, and I think for Kyle Tomori could be the key in this. Look, Milan want a little discount. We could end up going in this way. We give them a discount. They hit their books up accordingly, saying they only spent 22 million on for Kyle Tomori. But in essence, they give us a discount on Frank Kessie, and we get him for a nice bargain fee of maybe 15 to 20 million pounds, considering he's only going to have a approximately 12 months left on his deal and he's a free agent next year. For me, the guy's a tremendous talent. He would add serious value to this Chelsea midfield. He could work in a 4-3-3. He can work in a 3-4-3 in the two. He is an absolute beast. And I don't think he would struggle to settle into the league but we do need to bear in mind that his time at Milan really went slowly. But the thing is, I blame that on age and I blame that on just a change with the transfer value that he got brought in for, it was really big. With this, the pressure would be off. I understand it's a new league, but the pressure is off. This will be a cheap signing. This will be a great signing in the sense that the manager really wants you. And he won't be expected to pull up palm trees. Milan were in rebuild. He was brought in to be the catalyst for change. He's finally become that catalyst. The problem is, is if he's got 12 months left and he's telling Milan I'm leaving, this could be a deal that we should get in front of. And I am very interested. Stay tuned. I will bring you more as soon as there is something. But now tell me in the comments below, would you be interested in a Frank Kessie? And what are your perspectives on Frank Kessie? Yo, what's happening with Tammy Abraham? This is something we need to talk about. Tammy hasn't made the last three squads. I don't know if any of you have noticed. Tammy was fully fit. Every time Tuchel's asked about him, Tammy's fully fit and ready to go. And Tuchel openly says he feels sorry for him. There's just too much competition. What does this mean? Because, yo, Tammy's not signing a new deal and we've all agreed on it. Tammy Abraham has 
reiterated to the Chelsea board he's not going to sign a new deal until he gets reassurances of game time. That's not happening at Chelsea, big man. We all know that. And the problem here is we've got a great asset because he is a great asset. As much as I give him a hard time for not being Chelsea quality as a number one, he is a good asset to have around the team in the sense that he's English, he's worth money, a lot of money considering of that English premium. He's a homegrown asset. He can get you goals off the bench if he plays accordingly. He's a good cut player. The guy is growing as well into his body frame where he's going to become complete. So he's not useless. This this can't be good for him because he needs to leave. If he's not making match day squads, that means there's no opportunity coming whatsoever. So that's a big deal. And I think a lot of people don't understand how much of a big deal that is. He's a footballer at the end of the day. He wants to play. There are no concrete rumors coming out recently, but for me, I just thought maybe we should discuss this. I want to know your opinions because I would be willing to sell Tammy for maybe 30 million, 25 million, because he's got a year left on his deal. He's gonna go away on a free next year. Let's get something for him because we can't be losing him. Are we Arsenal? No. He, I could see him, by the way, potentially move to an Arsenal or West Ham. That is the caliber of club I think he could go to and actually make an impact because that club, the expectations will be lower. They're nowhere near as good as Chelsea. They're nowhere near as demanding as Chelsea are. Arsenal fans think they are, but when have you been relevant, realistically speaking? When was the last time you were relevant properly? Like, you guys were celebrating getting to a Europa League final that we slapped you up on. It wasn't even that deep for us. It ended up being Hazard's remontada one last time in it. Let me just pull it back. But otherwise, that's it, guys. Like, that was the Tammy Abraham news, and I want to hear your thoughts on this. So, to sum up, I believe the Christian Pulisic rumors are fake, and until further notice, I would not let it get close to you guys. Be happy, be glad that we have numerous options, and like I said in the video that I'm going to plug at the end of the show, so make sure you stick around and click on it. We are blessed. We have got... Christian Pulisic, Kai Havertz, Mason Mount and Callum Hudson-Odoi fighting for three positions with Werner and Zayesh also in the running. We are blessed. Be grateful. Be happy. People are trying to put us down. Tammy Abraham, where on earth are you, bro? I don't know, but he needs to start thinking about his future because evidently he's not getting selected and he's going to have to add up one, two, three, four. What am I going to do? Because I don't know what I'm going to do next year. And finally, Frank Kessie would be a welcome addition, in my opinion, if this deal goes through. Frank Kessie is an absolute bad boy. This guy would walk into our midfield and make a good resounding impact. Whether it's starting or whether it's on the bench or whether it's at squad depth, he is a fantastic addition that I wish we can get. 18 months on his deal, won't be more than 20 million. I love it. So that's the video, guys. But yes, this was the Gaff Guys. You hit the like button. Like I said, new target now of 200 likes. Let's be aiming for it and push it. Guys, I am so close to 6.4K. Can you push me over this? Eight more people needed. Come on, man. Tell a friend, tell your auntie, tell your nan, tell your grand, tell somebody to subscribe to the channel, right? Let's push it over to the 6.4. Keep it stepping to the 10K mark. I really want to do it before the summer. So let's do it together. But peace out. I'm out. Hit the like button and comment and subscribe to the video.